beautiful people. Welcome to Pretty Girl Love Trap content. This is my recap slash review for Snowfall, season five, episode six. Ooh, we getting up there, y'all. The Iliad part two. Y'all, I was really feeling this episode. It gave your girl what she been needing, okay? The entertainment factor was all the way up, okay? So yeah. Let's get into this episode, okay? So we are back where we left off, okay? We are still under duress at the Tiger King's house, okay? And your boy Franklin is freaking out, okay? He's like, bro, I ain't trying to die like this. Like, no. <laughs> Can I die from eating food, you know, get some diabetes or something? Not from being food. Like, that ain't what we do, okay? But also, you know, he keep it cool, calm, and collected. He was like, to save your energy, to save your energy, Miho, okay? Because we're gonna probably need to wrestle this there. <laughs> tiger, okay? Because you know your boy is a like, you know, moonlighting as a wrestler. Well, was moonlighting as a wrestler. So, you know, he already probably plotting all those moves, okay? So we see the Tiger King, he comes from the house, he comes into the backyard, and he's pretty much telling, like, you know, the tiger, like, oh, it's time for some din din. And I'm like, oh boy, how are they gonna get out of this? So he tries to open up the cage, but it malfunctions. He ends up trying to do something else where it pretty much entailed him going on top of the cage and somehow also was able to kind of push the cage and your boy leg got stuck. I was like, ooh, Tiger King, mm, what's going on here? But yeah, he ended up being a good old snack for the tiger, okay? Leg clear off, all right? I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I like this, I like this, yeah, so the tiger was eating that leg like a little neck bone, okay, he was really, really feeling it, all right, and so he ended up dropping the keys, Franklin was able to get the keys, and of course, they escaped, I'm like, oh, Lord, thank God, because I was stressed, I'm like, how are they going to get out of this situation, because we ain't got time, okay, we do not have time to be captured, all right, so y'all, they walk along the street, mosey on down the street, no money, but it's okay. That's least priority. So they was like, okay, we need to go ahead and carjack somebody, cuz. <laughs> Sorry, that's my uh, little horrible gangster impression. But yeah, they decided to, you know, figure out, okay, the next car we see, we're gonna roll up on it, okay? So they see a car and really hear a car because they didn't really see the whole car. So Franklin come out, you know, old gangster mode. You know, get get out the port with his gun with no, uh, <laughs> no bullets, all right? So I'm like, Franklin, did you at least see who was in the car? Hell no, because, yeah, the fools I was trying to get him earlier, they are in the car. <laughs> I swear this could have been a scene from World Dumbest Criminals, okay? So they end up putting your boys, Franklin and also, in the trunk, okay? And they proceed to take them to the beauty salon, okay? And older soda, like, uh-uh. Don't be up in here messing up my stuff with blood, okay? Just keep it cute and keep it clean. <sighs> this is literally the worst day ever in TV history, probably. Well, maybe not. That's a little dramatic, but y'all know what I mean, okay? So we see Leon and Dion, okay? They they bringing in back Black Diamond and Dallas, okay? AKA Ronnie and Trick. Shout out to the Players Club, okay? And so, you know, they're trying to question him, like, did you have something to do with this Franklin situation? These hits. They was like, uh-uh, we ain't got time for that. We was at our kids, okay? We was over there watching Barney and Blues Clues and whatnot. We had time to be killing folks, okay? We parents up in here. We had the homework, okay? Shout out to the parents who be helping with the homework, y'all. Be struggling. <laughs> <laughs> but they was like, uh-uh, no, that was not us, okay? So, y'all need to let us go so we can help find Franklin, okay? We are the security, for God's sake. But they was like, uh-uh, we good. We not going ahead and let you go nowhere, okay? So, we get this thing straightened out. So, back at the, the beauty salon, they, they torturing your boys, Franklin, and also, okay? They got tape wrapped around them and whatnot. And I'm like, ooh, y'all went ahead and took the whole stock of duct tape from Home Depot, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, did y'all use a coupon? Anywho, so yeah, Franklin, he was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and tell you where the money is, okay? But you gotta promise me you gonna let me live, okay? You gotta let me live. And so they was like, okay, you can take us, but yeah, your boy also is gonna stay back for insurance. I was like, 
okay, how is this going to happen? Okay, because we got to remain alive, right? So back at the bar, okay? Sissy and V, they have a conversation. And your girl V, Vernie, aka Connie, okay, get it, Connie, okay. I'm so over, okay. I am so over the groomed swooner, okay. I am tired of her, okay, because your girl was dry snitching on herself. She was telling Sissy, you know, like I come from a mother who was a con, okay, because Sissy was bigging her up, like, you know, good job at that little crime scene with the crying and whatnot. And so, you know, she was like, yeah, I learned from my mother. You know, she was a con artist. We was in Paris, girl. We was in Paris conning the people, okay? We would con people at the carnivals. There's any chance we get, we was conning folk, okay? I was falsifying the documents in French and English. I was like, ooh. Sorry for the ghetto smack, y'all, but it was called for, okay, because, yeah, your girl May was, she probably was giving us some Easter eggs, okay, because falsifying documents, what should we do in that office all day? Dealing with documents and making phone calls, girl? Mm, 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 mm. Watch out for Sneaky V, okay, because we cannot trust her, okay? Future con mom, all right? Be on the lookout because, yeah, she ain't, she ain't. She ain't safe to be around, okay? Hide your kids, hide your wife, all right? So, Franklin, <laughs> he over there, you know, in the car trying to find the house where they left the money, okay? <laughs> he ended up taking them to the Tiger King's house. I was like, oh, Franklin, you smart, but it's kind of dangerous. I mean, what are the odds? Is this going to work out? So, they end up going there, and yeah, just perfectly. Perfectly, the plan comes into motion. The tiger ends up killing or attacking and, and, and charging one of the guys. So Franklin was able to like, um, what you call it? Uh, you know, hit the guy with the gun in his head. So he was free. Next thing you know, he pulling the guy out, <laughs> the gun out on the guy who was pressing him on the last episode. The little young buck. I'm like, ooh, what a nice change of events. Okay, I was so happy. I was like, yeah, Franklin, get him, get him. So, yeah, he put old boy in the trunk, and I was not mad. I was like, ooh, yes. So, back at the club, Louis was telling everybody, hey, Franklin is alive. He's stranded in East L.A. You know, my boo thing, Jerome and Leon, they're going to go ahead and get them, okay? So, Sissy proceeds to have a conversation with your girl, Veronique, okay? Long story short, she was telling her, like, this is my son. I'm going to ride for him. But you got to think, this ain't the last time something like this is going to happen. So you pretty much need to go ahead and bounce with your baby, a.k.a. my grandbaby. I'm like, oh, sissy, you ain't the grandmother of the year. I'm like, I mean, you know, if she going to have this baby and if she pregnant, if it's saints, you know, because we don't know. Maury, where you at? Okay. But yeah, y'all, she done told your girl sissy to biz out, okay? She wants to be the only woman in Franklin's life, okay? Because she, she said, I am the top dog, okay? And I was a little annoyed because, sissy, you listened to that whole conversation with V, pretty much telling you that she is untrustworthy. And you ain't shared that with nobody. You kept that to the chest, girl. Anywho, so we see Uncle Leon, they meet up with Franklin. Franklin got, you know, one of the essays cars. And yeah, he put old dude in the trunk and he ends up putting the keys in the trunk with the boy. He's like, yeah, crafty, huh? Go ahead and figure that out. I'm like, oh, that's still a little too iffy. I mean, he did have some duct tape around his limbs, but I'm like, you could never know. Okay, that little boy was crafty. Okay, so I hope old boy never gets out the trunk. Okay, but the way TV works, he'll probably be a villain next season. Okay, but yeah, they went off. And got the money back from the house. I was like, yes, the money is back. We saved the three million. Yes. I'm, y'all, I was acting like that was my money, okay? Because <laughs> I just knew that money was gone. I'm like, ooh, Lord. Okay, yes. So we got the money back, y'all. So we see uh, at the club, okay? So we see also and Franklin. They're getting patched up, you know. Franklin is uh, getting patched up by Vernie, sneaky leak. And um, also is being patched up with Miss Sissy. And also, you know, spouse, she comes in, she pissed, okay? She started abusing old boy like, yo, 
If you try to check out, let me know. I ain't trying to be no single parent up in here, okay? Them boys is bad. Bad, okay? <laughs> I know we heard these boys. We supposed to do right by them, but they too bad. So don't be up in here trying to make me no single parent, bro, because I ain't having it. I was like, girl, I don't blame them, right? So everybody's still talking about Peaches this entire episode. Where's Peaches? Where's Peaches? He's sick. He's sick. He's the only one, you know, that knows all this information. But Frank was like, you know, but just to be sure, let's take a ride. Because there's only one other way we can know is definitely Peaches behind this whole ordeal, okay? So he goes to the stash house where the five mil is, okay? It's probably like $300 of sprinkled, like $100 bills on the floor, y'all. They don't wipe your boy Franklin out, but I still don't think Peaches did it. I think Peaches is on his deathbed. He's in the hospital. Like, I feel like he is sick. They are trying to throw us off our scent, okay? Because Peaches would not let us down, like... They sprinkled so many, so many Easter eggs about how he was sick. And Peaches is loyal. It's loyal. If he needed money, I'm sure Franklin could have gave him some money. Franklin ain't like that. I feel like he would definitely give Peaches some money if he really was in dire need. And in terms of like Peaches possibly being tortured, I feel like Peaches would die before he give up any information regarding Franklin's sake. I mean, that's what he signed up for, okay? That was in the terms and conditions of his employment, okay? So I'm sure... Peaches would keep it 10 tones down in any duress situation, okay? So, yeah, leave Peaches alone, okay? Peaches is innocent, all right? But, yeah, Unc, he's starting to feel like Peaches is behind everything. And I'm like, you can just see the hurt and disappointment in Uncle's heart. I'm like, Unc, he did not do it. It's okay. <sighs> Y'all. So we see Teddy at the crazy lady's house, okay? And he is having nightmares about war and whatnot, and she's trying to calm him down. And she ends up sedating him. And yeah, she low-key confessed her love to uh old Teddy. And like, oh yeah, you my teddy bear. I mean, not in those words, but yeah. She went ahead and kissed him. He kind of kissed her back. She's like, Yeah, I've been wanting to do that for a while, but she was in love with the you know other lady, aka I'm sure his baby mother. And yeah, she was like, I want to be a part of this, okay. And yeah, my price just went up. Okay, I'm gonna send you my new invoice because yeah, I did tell you it was two hundred fifty thousand. No, I want a half a meal for my services. I'm like, okay, girl, this is an expensive hospital slash Airbnb, child. Like, I would never go there. How many stars you got, child? So, oh, Lord. Franklin, he goes home because he said he's tired. He had the longest day ever. He just wanted to go home and take a shower, y'all, and just relax and maybe even take a bubble bath with his boot thing. But yeah, he goes home. V is nowhere to be found. She done left him a Dear John letter. We didn't, you know, see the contents of the letter. But yeah, he is his and her. And I'm like, oh, Franklin. He needed a hug at that time. See, sissy, where you at? You ain't never... Where were you? You are never where you are needed, child. Ugh, God. So yeah, Franklin, he goes to see Avi, okay? And yeah, he wants some protection. He was like, Avi, I need some security, okay? Can you help a brother out? So Avi's like, I got you. And they had the deepest conversation, y'all. Avi told Franklin, like, I'm a soldier. I'm not like you. You're a little different. When I first saw you, I saw that you can do anything you want to do. You could have been a teacher, a businessman, a drug dealer. And I'm sure all those things are in you and they want to come out and they're trying to come out and they're showing. But bruh, you chose to be a drug dealer. Therefore, when you decided to have a girl and a baby, that makes you out here vulnerable in these streets, okay? Because obviously I never married. I never had kids because I'm about this life, okay? I'm fully committed, all right? And Avi said, hey, I'm going for war to war here battlefield the battlefield my war is is external bro bruh your war is in here it's internal i was like oh avi got bars this is deep and i was like avi can you call Tariq st patrick from power and, and let him know this information too because yeah he needs to hear this okay i was all for it avi i love him he's one of my favorites so he needs to be in more scenes okay because he be dropping the gems all right so we see Unc and Aunt Louie then meet up with some other crew members, okay, because they're supposed to, you know, be helping them 
get the ear to the streets, okay? Get the ear to the streets and figure out what's going on with this hit, y'all. So, you know, your boy, Unk, he was like, hey, let us know if y'all find out any information. But Unk boy was like, I don't really, I hear y'all, but when is this drop coming? We need the drugs, okay? Business first, not business, business first, all right? And so Unk was like, did you hear me? So Unk boy was like, I don't need you to calm down. You're being kind of rude, Unk. He was like, what? Um, proceeded to beat the dog crap out of him. Like, if y'all seen Don't Be a Menace, <laughs> he looked like old girl cousin, like, on the street, just dead, just, he he battered your boy. Aunt Louie, she had the other boy hemmed up. She had the, the blicky on her. She was like, yeah, go pick up your boy. And Aunt just had the coldest, coldest line. The coldest line we pulled up, pretty much telling him, hey, teach your boy how to swabble, because next time, you got to get the scrap. I was like, oh, uh, I swear. They have so many lovable characters up in here. I'm just loving everybody, all right? So, y'all, we see your girl, Veronique, child, at the doctor's office. And she's supposed to be getting this ultrasound, okay? And Franklin shows up. I'm like, hold up. Did you leave or no? Like, I was so confused, y'all. I was just hoping we was never going to see her again. But I know that that prayer was not going to be answered that day, okay? So, yeah. She pretty much tells your boy, like, I need distance. This is dangerous. I need what I signed up for, but I got to protect our baby. I was just like, girl. I'm so annoyed, y'all. Yeah. So back at the club, okay? Diamond and Black Dallas, they came back with some pivotal information. I was like, okay, no word on peaches, but have y'all heard of the word, the, the name Kane? And so, of course, Leanna Franklin, I immediately knew who it was. I'm like, who is that? Came from Power Book 2? Oh, what's going on here, okay? Who is Kane? Next thing we see, they rolling up at some little field, this football field, and some gangsters are on there. And this one dude come on, he got this presence with him. He was just like, what's up, little Negro? And not so many words. So apparently Kane is behind his head, okay? And he is Franklin's friend's older brother, okay? He's Kevin's brother. I can't remember what season it was, y'all. Maybe season one or two. But long story short, Franklin ended up killing Kevin, even though it was Kevin's fault and it was a mistake. <laughs> but yeah, your boy, Kane, he just got out. And he said he made it his business to settle this situation, okay? So, yeah, he was sunning Leon and Franklin the entire conversation because he knew them since they was kids, okay? Because, you know, he an OG. So he was like, yeah, little Lily and Frankie. Little Frankie and Lily, what's up? I remember, you know, I used to watch you guys walk around in diapers. I mean, he'd say all that. But that was pretty much what he was saying. He was sunning them the whole time. And he was like, bruh, I ain't hiding. I'm here. And Frank was like, yeah, I'm trying to handle this like two adults here because we could have just came at y'all blasting, okay? But we're not trying to do this. We're trying to have an amicable solution. And bro was not trying to hear. He's like, ain't nothing amicable about this, okay? Because yeah, y'all killed my brother. Y'all killed my brother. So yeah, I'm going to stay ready. I ain't hiding, bro. I was like, ooh, you a, you a, you a gangster OG, but yeah, you got to die. Mm -mm. You are messing with our criminal protagonist. And yeah, we cannot have this okay you got to go and you were so sloppy you didn't kill nobody on the team and did he get the money because i'm still like confused like you don't look like you leveled up five mil like what is that about like what is going on here i need answers and i need it now you know did all that planning all that scoping and you killed not no one so your your ultimate mistake was letting them know okay they need to get on their car and franklin I'm going to need you to beef up the security, okay? Because you just be having one strap with you. That's not enough. You may be having, you know, a bodyguard or two. No, you need a team, okay? And when Black Diamond and Dallas are with their kids, hire another team for another shift, okay? Because they always have issues with the babysitters, all right? So we are tired of this. And I appreciate you for being an equal opportunity employer, okay? For hiring single mothers. We got you because they cold. I like them a lot, okay? 
And your girl, Black Diamond, she she wasn't scared of no gun, okay? Oh, no, I think it was Dallas, a little cute short one. She was like, telling Dion, like, bro, get that gun out my face, yo. I ain't scared of you. Like, she was bugging up the whole time. I was like, yes, girl, tell him. You ain't scared. You ain't never scared. Shout out to Bone Crusher. But yeah, frankly, I need you to learn a few things from the situation. You need to beef up, switch up everything you've been doing. Watch out for your girl, Veronique. Watch out for Sissy, even though you don't know yet. Sissy, girl, you wrong. But y'all, that's the end of this video. How did y'all feel about this episode? I enjoyed it. I give it like a good A minus. Your girl, yeah, she was happy. This was the best episode of the season. So drop down in the comments. Let me know your thoughts. Like this video. Please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, okay? And I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.